It's windy day two. Holy shit, man. We're off the rails. What's up? It is day two. I got a bunch of really thin quarter inch plywood for 10 bucks a sheet, which if you know anything about lumber, that's dirt cheap. Boom. So with that new wood that I have, I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna just wall right over there. And the roof looks really nice too. Yeet. Now the real test, seeing if it fits and if my cuts are good. They're usually not very good. <laughs> Ooh, not bad. Little problem. Bah, 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 bah. Where's the hammer? Measure one time, cut five times. Okay, all things considered, that's pretty good. Okay, test fitment number two. That one's perfect. Oh, that's just wonderful. Wow. Wow. Love having a three inch gap. We are going to buy a mini fridge, brand new. Look at that cutie. Look at that cutie pie. <laughs> Boom. Mission thrift shop. I've got everything I need for my couch. A little blue for two of them. And then the back one will be kind of this beige color. Okay, you know how they say everything happens for a reason? It's probably true. They're not on sale anymore. They're not $89. They're $175 for the cheapest mini fridge there, which I'm not really willing to pay. Okay, I got four mini fridges. One out of four must work, right? When it comes to fridges, they're really not that complex. Just have a compressor and then like a thermostat and a couple things in between maybe, but they're pretty simple. Like if I can figure it out, anyone can figure it out. If you wanted to get something from the dump, just like if it cools, it cools. And if it doesn't stay at the temperature you want it, then it's just a thermostat, easy. Give you a quick little uh, electrical lesson. AC, one wire, two wire, alternating current back and forth through both wires. DC is just current through one and then ground through another. Uh, that's pretty much all I know about electricity, but if you want to ever, if you need a cord on one of these bad boys, you just wire and wire, connect them together, doesn't matter what one, and then you don't even need a ground to test it, so. Two wires, black and white, they're the same thing. Green, usually ground, obviously. Twist it up, it's working. Compressor started right away. You can just put your hand on it. And if it's noisy when it starts up, it's bad. It's gonna make that noise forever. Oh yeah, that's cold. <laughs> and it even came with a case of beer. Who would have thought? So you also wanna know how cold it's getting because if it's getting kinda cold, but it's not getting as cold as it should be because there's like a leak or something like that, you'll be able to tell that with this thermometer. Fit. That one fits perfectly. Pretty good. That's a little overhang. Goal for the day, get the upholstery done and the cushions on. That would make me so happy. So freaking happy. And then maybe frame in the fridge if I have time. I probably have time. For those who think that they could never do upholstery, it's probably one of the easiest things uh, of the whole bus build. This is what it's gonna look like when you're done. Lots of staples. I mean, you would probably wanna look a video up if you're gonna do this, because I'm not exactly like pro. Ta-da! Perfect, no. Decent. Let's just take a little thing into consideration here. Free. Okay, I'm finally done for the day. Show you what I've done. So good. I need your soft pillowy cushions. So it's probably, I get it, looking a little bland, but once once the live edge shelf comes, some artwork, 
make it mine with some driftwood and stuff like that, it's gonna be booming. As you see, I've got a big table out there. So the little table is for when I'm here and I just wanna be able to get out of the back, which this is my bed area. I can just slide out really easily, use my laptop on it. But as well, the big one is for company and it doubles as making this a double bed. It's much more comfortable now. Like I've got this big giant couch, I can have people over. It's not just like my weird bed. And uh, it's not thrown together, it's like I've created this. It might not be perfect, but it's like, it's perfect for me, you know what I mean? Like I, it's, uh, it's comfortable. <sighs> so, I got my measurements. I got a TV that I'm gonna give Dan for a little bit of a trade value. And uh, we're gonna get some live edge timber. Hey, welcome to Adventure Man Dan's Sawbill and Lumber. Go check it out. So, this is the wood shack. Welcome to it. Got some uh, 16 footers. Got some Douglas fir here. We're living on the edge with some live edge lumber here. So if you guys want to check it out, come on by. We also got a bunch of hardwood here. We got the silver maples. We got the birch. We got the walnut. That's all I got. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> this up got some really nice pieces this is uh, close to two feet just about a foot and it's gonna be my shelly looks wicked all right good night stay tuned for day three where I do finishing touches we'll hopefully be finishing this thing up I still have a couple days to go because I have a diesel heater to install my shower to install and to create the shower stall drop me a like I'll see you on the next video but <laughs>